welcome back to my channel if this is your first time <laughs> welcome and if this is not your first time thank you for coming back so today we're going to be making this white and gold baby shower cake <laughs> so i already torted my cake and covered it in fondant so i'm going to show you how i get my sharp edges if you notice what i'm doing i put a cake board on top of the cake and turned it upside down like you have to put a flat cake board and turn it upside down and then move the fondant with her smoothener towards the cake board underneath it she understand and then smooth it smoothen it around the cake board see what i'm doing i'm moving the fondant downward that way your fondant meets at that point and it makes it really smooth and the edges will be really sharp and stuff so <laughs> so then you can turn it back in the right position once you're done with that and it's smoothing everything all together okay so now what i'm doing is i'm smoothing the sides of the cake because that is a very important step you want every part of your cake to be smooth that way at the end of the day you get a finish a nice perfect finish on your fondant cake so now i'm going to cover the board i know the board is already white so you might think you don't need to cover it but it's usually nice when you cover the board because it helps to tie your old cake design together and it looks more professional that way so regardless of the color of your um cake board rhyming with your cake you should always cover your board in fondant except you're doing a buttercream cake of course so right now i'm going to cover the board and then i'm going to apply the ribbons i usually use i buy these ribbons from regular fabric stores you can buy sometimes i buy the gold ones or the silver ones they are not edible but i feel like they help me tie my cake designs together and it comes seamlessly together without that much stress you can as well cut out your borders out of fondant but i like to use fabric ones because they're usually nice and very effortless i don't know if you get me but okay so i'm going to wrap that round and then cut it once it gets to the end notice i'm attaching my um v-bands with a glue and a brush i made the glue with some fondant and by adding some water into the fondant in a cup and putting it into the microwave for a few seconds maybe like 30 45 seconds it will become liquidy and sticky so that's what i use as my glue you can as well buy glue from the regular stores but why buy when you can make yours yourself add some water to fondant and then use your brush to stay together and you have glue so right now we're about to make the baby shoe i already made the first one so we're going to make the second pair notice i already cut out the sole of the second pair in the shape of a baby shoe just try to make it the same size as much as possible and then you should cut out the parts where you're going to lay over that sole to make a baby shoe and if you get just think about what i'm doing and you understand what i mean i already cut out the sole so now we're going to arrange this part on top of the sole and then glue it with the glue i told you how to make so once you glue that cut it with the scissors and make sure when you're using a kitchen scissors you use that scissors for just kitchen stuff you don't use it for your hair or for other regular stuff because you know you need to be hygienic it's people's food so try to make it as clean as possible if you notice every time i do something i try to make sure my work is clean because it's impossible for you to make sure your work is clean at the end of everything you have to do so at every step you have to clean up your work clean up your counter clean up the extra icing sugar or whatever it is on your table so right now i'm trying to form the 3d hard fondant shape so the first thing you do is cut out some fondant and roll it in your fingers to make it circular and then using a sharp knife you should cut out like a rectangle or a rectangular shape from the fondant and then use your fingers to shape it into a love shape ish kind of do you get that way it forms like a round ish love shape <laughs> i don't know what that means normally i could have cut this out with a regular cutout that would have been easier for me but i wanted it to have like um a 3d love heart shaped whatever do you get me so that's how we're doing this and it looks more it looks nicer and more realistic so right now i'm trying to form the bowl i don't understand how the footage for forming the bowl disappeared but it did 
and so we have to go on so now guys i'm just attaching all the decorations i already made to my cake and notice for the heart shaped fondant on top of it i'm using a toothpick to make it stick in for the other ones you can just apply glue to stick it to your cake you don't have to use this toothpick but you, if you want it to stand upright you have to use a toothpick or maybe a skewer to make it stand upright on top of your cake because that was the effect i was trying to achieve so now when we're done attaching the next thing we do is to take some edible gold dust and then add some clear um alcohol to it, maybe vodka or something i usually use vodka make it a little sweet don't make it too watery so you can like coat every part of your cake then we are going to paint with a smooth paintbrush and when you're painting make sure you're painting in like short strokes that way you get better coating on your painted material so we are going to paint the bowls on top of our cake i don't want to paint the old shoe gold i'm just going to paint the gold the bowl on top of the shoes as well as the heart shaped fondant around the i'm cake. so sorry guys a lot of the footages i made got deleted while i was editing this video but i hope you learned a thing or two while watching especially how i made the bowl i wish like i could show you i could i could have shown you guys how to make fondant bowls and stuff but i'm sure you see in my new like future videos but in the meantime let me give you a few tricks about painting on fondant usually when you paint it's best you take a brush that has like very neat bristles and at the same time not too strong and not too hard and when you paint paint in short strokes and start from the edges of whatever it is you're, you're painting that way your painting comes out neater and you see less like bent strokes on your actual objects that you're already painting okay so thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe and share and like and i'll see you next time